Hi, I'm Jack Koenig with Graco Industrial Lubrication Equipment, and this is a really simple automatic lubrication system. There are four basic components to any automatic lubrication system. First, you need some sort of a controller. It may be just a basic timer. It may be a more capable controller like the one built into this unit, and it could be a separate unit or it could be built in like we have here. Next, you need a pump. This pump is part of, again, this unit. This is our G3 Max pump assembly. Then you need some sort of a metering device, which the subject of this video is going to be a series progressive divider valve. And then everything else is just kind of lumped into the group of accessories. In the case of the MSP valve and most other Trabon valves, there's a number written on the front. Here we have a 20T. The 20 means a displacement of 20 thousandths of a cubic inch on each end of the piston. And then the T means twin outlet so that the 20 thousandths comes out each side. Then the other two are five T valves. So they get a quarter of that grease. They have five thousandths out each side, but since they're both T's, they're still twin valves. And you have outlets here that are open and ready to receive a piece of tubing or hose that would connect it to a lubrication point. This valve, actually has a different layout. It has a 10S, which the S is for single outlet, and the 10 thousandths from each side on this 10S are combined into 20 thousandths out this tube. And then we have a 20S, so now this tube is getting 20 thousandths each half cycle for a total of 40 thousandths per cycle. And so then on each of these S valves, one of the outlets is plugged. So this one has the tube on the left, plug on the right, this one has the plug on the left, tube on the right. And then these others are T valves. We have a 15T and a 5T. So the 15T is getting 15 thousandths out each side, and the 5T is getting 5 thousandths out each side. But since we actually let this run about six cycles, the volumes that I just gave you would be six times that because this valve went through six cycles as we ran this pump for a few minutes. So that's a really quick basic overview of a G3 and a Trabon MSP system. Let's take a look at what's going on inside the valves now and have a little better understanding of the internal workings of a series progressive divider valve. The fluid pressure and flow comes in through that port on the inlet and there's a hole that runs down the entire assembly that has pressure coming into the middle of the valve at all times. With this valve, we have all the pistons starting on the right. It's showing the bottom valve basically just finished dispensing. So now as the pressure is coming in the right side of the first valve, this is where the pressure is actually pushing on the pistons. On these other ones, it's still pushing it against the right side and it's kind of stalled out there because it can't, it can't go any further to the right. So now on this one, the left one, you have low pressure here and high pressure here. So what do you think is going to happen to this piston? It's going to start shifting to the left because this pressure is pushing it leftwards. And now this flow is kind of a convoluted path, but it works its way all the way out to the right side of that first section. And as it continues to move, as flow continues to move through it, the oil or grease now works its way over to where this section here is open on the other side now. If Let's back up a second and see how here the pressure was actually cut off momentarily as this was closed, but now as we continue the pressure is coming in this side and now the path to the right side of the second cylinder to the right side of the second piston is opened up and now that piston is going to start moving to the left as well and when that second piston moves to the left it dispenses on the left also and as this moves over now it opens the path to where the pressure is to the right side of the third piston and it's going to do the same thing it's going to dispense out the left and now we start over back at the top again where the pressure is on the left side of the piston and it's going to work its way all the way through the valve to come out the left outlet and same thing in reverse as the other side. This is what we mean when we say that a divider valve is series progressive. It progresses through the series 
of pistons. Let's take one more look at how all this happens. And that's one complete cycle. Now that it's reached the right side of that last valve, it's back where it started, and it'll start the whole process over again as long as flow continues to move through the valve with enough pressure to move the pistons. And most pistons need less than 200 PSI to cycle them. So that's the internal workings of a divider valve. It's not black magic, but it is kind of complicated because you've got these notches in these pistons that are opening and closing ports to redirect the fluid through there. But that's why if you plug a hole or have a blockage, everything stops because whenever it reaches that blocked hole, the piston can't shift over, and then you have to troubleshoot that and find the blockage because nothing is going to get oil or grease until you fix that blockage and get the whole valve cycling through its progressive series again. That was a real quick look at what's happening inside and outside of a divider valve system. And this again is a very simple system. You could have a valve that would be called either the primary or the master valve that feeds some secondary valves that then go out to the lubrication points and it can get really complicated from there. But the purpose of this video was just a real simple overview of how a series progressive divider valve system works with our G3 pump. If you have any questions about this video or any other subject, please feel free to contact us. We are always happy to hear from you.